once I released the fabric, I just chucked it because I was just like, it's nasty. It's old. Out with the old, in with the new. After I released it, I had to trim down the stuffing and the interfacing so that it lie flat, like how it is flat here. Because if I didn't do that, then it would be bumpy from where the seam allowance or the extra stuffing and interfacing is now, you know, revealed. And I just wanted a nice, complete, even, flat, but still fluffy look. And so after I trimmed it down, um, I lied the futon down flat. I just whip out the fabric, let it fall, and I just measured to see how, you know, how to cut it. So measure twice, cut once is the rule, always. Measure twice, cut once. Because once you cut, that's it. And so once I measured, I realized that my fabric was not wide enough. It was long enough. I had a lot of extra on the side, but it wasn't wide enough. So I had some um, of the stuffing and of the couch, the futon, was revealed at the bottom. And so I took the extra from this side and I sewed it, I cut it and I sewed it together some type of way to make it work at the bottom. That's the only amount of sewing that I did and it gave me enough to stretch the fabric underneath so I can staple it to the wood. And then after that, it was just a straight shot. You just stretch and staple, stretch and staple, and you just kind of gather it how you want it to gather. You staple it how you want it to staple it. And what I did was I stapled the fabric to the wood first. And then after all the fabric was stapled to the wood, I went back and I stapled the black, like the black finishing, the black backing or whatever that's on the outside I went and I stapled that to the fabric and the wood but like over it you know but you'll see but that was just for extra security so that even if the fabric comes off of the wood the black backing is still stapled to the fabric and the wood so it's not gonna come off most likely and there's not too much movement of this couch so um, it's not a big deal and that's why you should get upholstery fabric because it's sturdier and it doesn't rip as easily as regular apparel fabric so don't be cheap you know you can still be cheap but don't be cheap cheap because when it comes down to the fabric don't be cheap because people are going to be sitting on it and stuff like that and you want it to hold up you know especially if you did it yourself you want to you know you want it to be like look at what i did you know what i'm saying like this is uh, you could sell this feel me but anyway so after i did that it was time to put on the buttons and for the buttons um there was already holes poked in the futon because of how they sewed it and how they had it pucker and stuff like that so there was already holes and I just used those holes I went through the holes with my flathead screwdriver again from the back I went through and then I poked the hole in the new fabric with this flathead screwdriver and then this is how I looped the buttons this is regular yarn you can get it anywhere for cheap cheap and I just looped it on like this and then I just pulled it through the hole that I made. I gathered the three on the left end, braided them together, braided all the strings together and then I stapled the braid to the wood post on this side. And then I did the two in the middle, same thing, stapled them to the wood post in the middle and then I did the last three on this end, same thing. So that's kind of what gives off this puckering um, effect for some of them not all of them some of them missed the bar yeah they didn't get the memo but um that's how i didn't do that intentionally but i guess how tight i braided them and stapled them gave that effect but that's it that's all i did to create this or to reupholster this futon it took me four days and i really only worked on it three out of those four days because one day i just looked at it and i was just like not today, not today. 
But so I guess three days, but if I didn't have to work, then probably two days. Or if I were really bored and I didn't have to work, like one day. If I just woke up like at eight o'clock and I worked on it all, all day nonstop, probably could have took me one, one and a half days to do it because it was so easy. So don't be afraid to try something, to do, to reupholster something, to DIY something. But anyway, I appreciate you for watching. Um, thumbs up this video if it helps you do something, if it even just inspires you to make something else. You don't have to do a futon, but if it inspires you to do something, thumbs up this video, share with your friends, all that good stuff. Stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next one.